Okay, today we have the Petri Color 35. This is a uh, camera I picked up at a audio show of all places that was in Denver and it's got a 40 millimeter f2.8 lens and it's the cutest little thing. It's actually like it reminds me of a Rolly 35. It's about the same size. Got a little ding in it. Not bad. What's really cool is it has a shutter speed dial here, an aperture dial here, and we'll check those. Those are both working. And the focus is here. It's got this wheel, and in the viewfinder, it's got a scale that you have to guesstimate focus. And then when you want to put the camera away, you can retract this lens all the way in. The further in you turn it, this will almost all the way recess into the body. So right now this is in the extended mode. If we turn it, you'll see it's going in. And it'll go all the way in to there. And then you can put a lens cap on it or just put it in your pocket. That's what I would do. And then when you want to use it, you wind it back out. You can see that there are ribs here that, ex that get exposed when it's in the exterior position, ready to work. It's got a rewind knob here. It's got a hot shoe. It has a film counter right here on the back. It's a real simple viewfinder, but it's pretty clear. It's sharp. And like I said, $8 at an audio show. It's got a simple window. There's no view uh, rangefinder on this. And this is the kind of camera that I'll keep in my pocket and shoot Tri-X when I just feel like grabbing a shot and I didn't think to bring a camera. It'll, it'll always be with me kind of thing. This is the kind of camera you can do that with. Like I said, it's the size of the I think there's construction going on behind me, which I don't like that. I'm working here. Anyway, it's got shutter speeds from a 15th of a second to a 250th of a second and bulb. It's got apertures from 2.8 to 22. And again, they're controlled here on this wheel here is for aperture. This here wheel here wheel here is for shutter speeds. Now, when you look through the viewfinder, you'll notice if I can point this in the right way. The shutter is working at a 60th, at a 125th, at a 250, but it's not working at a 15th. It just stays open. And then the advance resets the shutter. Same thing with the 30th. It just stays open. And then I can reset it, but it would have wasted that frame if. I was trying to get a short shutter speed and didn't want a long shutter speed like that. So, the camera has some issues. It's not something I'll probably take apart and fix because I don't know how to do that. I'll probably exercise it a little bit and see if that 30th will start working. But otherwise, it's an outdoor camera or a camera I can shoot at a 60th at 2.8 and probably get a lot of indoor shots that are moderately lit. Pretty simple camera. It's got a uh, little key back in here, and the bottom comes off like a rolly as well. It's got a door, three sides, and then this opens up. Film goes in and across. I just picked this up, so I'll need to clean it up a little bit, but it's in pretty good shape. And uh, like I said, most of the apertures work, and I may be able to get the uh, 30th working. I did get the 30th working once at the show, so maybe I'll be able to get that again. But in any case, fun little camera, kind of thing that's uh, very pocketable, kind of cute. Something that I couldn't pass up, not for that price. And uh, it's one of my more favorite cameras right now for a small little pocketable camera. And it's like the Rolly in that it doesn't have the uh, rangefinder focus, it's a guesstimate. So it's the Petri Color 35, if you have any questions. I haven't run any film through this, so I just got it, but I will, and we'll check it and see how it works as far as is it working okay. And 
If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I love finding these old gems of cameras that were the cameras of the day that recorded people's lives. And now it's sort of an unwanted little camera wishing for a reason to still work. And it still works. So we'll shoot, shoot it and see. All right. Subscribe to my channel. I have more for you all the time. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.